day four of training camp, the fans were in the stands, the rookies were on display, and Zach Wilson has himself a rough day. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, training camp was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Fans were finally back in the stands. If you can't tell, it was a little bit sunny. <laughs> and your boy didn't wear any sunscreen. Not good. Not good. I got cooked. But it was a lot of, fan, a lot of fun. So let's jump into the storylines of the day. We got the fans, obviously, back in the stands. That was the biggest takeaway from today. It was fun to see all the Jet fans around. Got to see Richie from Jets Media, Tyson in primetime from Let's Talk Jets Radio. Uh, Jetman was there. There was a whole bunch of Jet fans, you know, it was just great. It was nice to have the energy again, and I can't wait for, like, games to actually start because this is just, like, the little bit of, like, breadcrumbs or, like, the uh, the teas before you actually get to the the final product. But it was good to see everyone. And you got to see the rookies on display. And I think that's probably the, the next piece of this whole puzzle. This is the first time the fans really got to see the rookies. And oh man, some takeaways that are re really cool that I that I got to see. So I sat right in front of the, the, the DBs. So Sauce Gardner was on full display standing next to DJ Reed and all the other like secondary dudes. And Sauce looks like a damn alien. This guy is so massive. Like, I know six foot three, massive wingspan, like 80 inch wingspan, pretty much, like huge. <laughs> but like his hands, his arms are like, they look enormous. He's like an entire helmet above DJ Reed. DJ Reed, by the way, is like snappy fast. We'll get to him in a little bit. Um, Brees Hall, I know there's no pads on, so it's a little tougher to kind of grade him and Jermaine Johnson right now. But man, he looks as advertised. He is fast. Real quick, him and Michael Carter were just bouncing around having a grand old time, and it was like really neat to watch the running backs kind of pal around like that. Garrett Wilson, this kid's going to be good. <laughs> they had him returning punch, which has me like terrified. I don't want to see Garrett Wilson returning any punts whatsoever. <laughs> I don't care if he's, you know, not wide receiver one or two right now. I just, I gives me the heebie-jeebies watching him return punts. But he's, dude can catch. He's got sticky fingers. This rookie class is going to be good. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch throughout the entirety of the season. And fans, like literally every time Brees Hall was handed off the ball, the entire fan base was just going, Brees! <laughs> the, the, the echoes throughout the entire uh, fan base was just, it, it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, and then some maybe not so great news if you're fans and you're sitting in the stands and you want to see Zach Wilson really show out. He had himself a little bit of a rough day today. Um, you know, obviously the... Uh, less than 50% completion percentage. That was the big takeaway. And he did have a pick six in the red zone uh, with DJ Reed returning it all the way. So it was not a, not a good read, not a good throw. Ups and downs. He did have two touchdowns. So that was nice in the red zone period. But by and large, it was an underwhelming day for, for our quarterback. So hopefully it's just, you know, nervousness being in front of the fans and things of that nature because he's had three good practices of the four that we've been able to kind of monitor and watch. So even though people might harp a little bit on this one, I wouldn't do that because 75% of his practices have been pretty damn good. So don't don't get all worked up and worried about this sort of thing. Um, and then the other big takeaway I, I had was the Davis, Richard Davis versus Denzel Mims uh, camp battle. We're at, right now we know our, our wide receiver room is gonna be Elijah Moore, Corey Davis, uh, Garrett Wilson, Braxton Barrios, and then you're kind of in that weird mix of like wide receiver five, wide receiver six. You have a few undrafted free agents that have come in, but Rashard Davis was picked up by the Philadelphia Eagles when Joe Douglas was down in Philly uh, as an undrafted free agent, and he's made his way from there through the USFL and then back onto the Jets, and I think it's going to be interesting to see. He wound up catching a really long touchdown. He had two long catches from, I believe it was Flacco and one from White. Uh, but this kid is really talented. I think from a special teams perspective, Jeff Smith may have to get bumped here and like gadgety wise. Now, Richard's only like, f I think they list him at 5'9". So Mims is definitely clearly taller than him. So they're two different types of wide receivers. But if you're looking at receivers that may provide a different skill set maybe, then perhaps Davis makes the roster. I don't know. It's going to be fascinating to see how the Jets handle this wide receiver room because Mims, Mims had a really nice catch on the sideline that I, I didn't see highlighted enough. This guy like near side, toe tap, 
uh, catch. I think that was that was really nice. But he did have a drop over the middle. So it's I, I feel like people harp on like the negatives a little bit more than maybe some of the positives. But either way, Jets have a nice competition going here at, at wide receiver. And I think the team will be better because of it. And then hopefully uh, Denzel Mims steps up and Rashard Davis continues to show out. Maybe they decide to carry six wide receivers. That would be kind of nice. But those were my takeaways from Jets camp. If you saw me, let me know. <laughs> it was a lot of fun meeting you guys. Uh, and let me know your, your takeaways from, uh, from Jets camp day four. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!